Cheers. Hi, I'm Shez. I'm Gav. And this is our Beneteau Oceanus 430. We made our dream a reality. Welcome aboard to Astrid the Wombat. Hi guys, we just filmed this whole section and then I um, realised I just took a photo of us. It was a really long photo and we were really funny. So we'll try to be just as funny this time <laughs> to do it again. But we are at the Queensland Cruising Yacht Club at Shorncliffe. I don't think I've ever been to Shorncliffe before. Gab said he has once before, but he thinks it was a mistake. Um, so we're waiting on Tony, the broker, and we're going to have a look at our house. Potentially. Hmm. Potentially. So what is it that we're looking at? We are looking at a Beneteau Oceanus 430. Um, it's the 1987 model with the Philippe design. Has it got a microwave? I don't know. It doesn't have a picture. <laughs> In the pictures, there's no microwave. So, But there's a spot you could put one. What's the name of the boat? It's called Pacific Sundowner. Right. Which We've always had plans to change the name of the boat we got and we had another name picked out and we're starting to think if this is if this is the one we may well keep the name and then save our other name for the tender. So And what are we gonna do with the name that we had picked out for the tender? Well I was thinking about calling one of the sails that name. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of names to figure yeah. out. But anyway, we'll see where we go. But we are a bit excited about this one. Um seems to tick a few boxes. Um but yeah, we. So we probably haven't really talked about what we, the boxes we need ticked, what we need in a boat. Yeah, why don't you talk about that? Well, you've started the conversation. I need somewhere to sleep comfortably. What yeah. do you need? I, I want something that's safe enough for us to be able to cross oceans. And I've read so many things on, is it a blue water boat? Oh, I don't think it is. Oh, I think it is. Oh forums now that I pretty much hate everybody with an opinion on whether something's a blue water boat or not but the Beneteau Oceanus there there are a lot of them currently sailing around and crossing oceans so I feel pretty confident that um, as long as the boat is in good condition and the other big thing that's missing is we actually left to learn how to sail <laughs> then uh, it'll be okay and just on that, we were talking about, you know, the process of buying a boat and how you have to do a sea trial. We're not really too sure how we're going to do that, given that we can't sail. But I had the idea that we could get them to sail and we'll say, oh, we want to walk around and look at things if you can take a, control the sail. And then I was thinking about it. I thought it's kind of like taking a car for a test drive, but saying that you just want to sit in the back seat <laughs> and let the salesman drive. So... Did you come up with any Who ideas? knows where this will be posted into the future as well. So if it is posted onto like some YouTube platform or whatever, maybe put in the comments how big an idiot you think we really are. <laughs> <laughs> and by the time yeah. we post this, it'll be... On a scale be... of 1 to 10 or 1 to 100 or something. By the time you see this, hopefully we're a few months into our, um, you know... Journey. Channel posting journey and we'll be... Um, you know, inexperienced sailors, but at least we'll know how to put a sail up and stuff. So we'll be more experienced than we are right now. Shout out to Back to Basics, by the way. Shout out to Awesome Back to Office Basics. Supplies Company. Give them a call. Google. It's the uh, company that Gab is a director of, in case you're wondering. <laughs> Sponsored by. <laughs> but yeah, give them a call, you know, because we want to go sailing and stuff. I was going to so do a drink important. ad, but I don't have any of that drink powder stuff. So maybe we could just do it. Oh, the AG1. Yeah. Yeah, we make our own so B2B. our own super greens. We make our own B two B. Yeah. And uh, this portion is sponsored by B two B because we're in a work car. <laughs> so uh, anyway, we're waiting to, for Tony. He's coming in a white Ute and we're in a black Ute. And Tony made a bad joke about us being black oh, and white or that. something. What if Tony watches this later on? Well, it was it was a bad joke. If he becomes our friend, I'm pretty sure I'll tell him <laughs> that it was a bad joke. Oh, yeah. So. Anyway, it wasn't really even a joke. It was just something he said, and then he did a laugh after it. it was weird. Yeah. Um, 
So anyway, we're about to go in and have a look. I'm hoping we can get in. He's not due here for about another 20 minutes. So I'm thinking we might be able to get find a gate, open gate, and go and see her. We'll jump the fence. It doesn't look yeah. too much barbed wire. I don't think razor wire's, wire's a big deal, is it? No, we've we'll got bunk in the back. Yeah, we'll sort that out. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to try and video from the boat. Um, I'm going to sneak away from Gav. He'll be knocking on random parts of the boat. It's, it's kind of like his MO. He goes on, starts knocking on things. He might knock on Tony. <laughs> Anyway, I'll I'll sneak downstairs while he's knocking on things and I might do a sneaky sneaky post from down there. Alright, see you later. You gonna say goodbye? Bye. Bye. <laughs>in this morning um but we have not updated since our last one when we were pretty overexcited and going to see the last boat um and so we wanted to update it was not the first boat we looked at obviously but it was the first boat we ended up putting a offering on that boat and we were very excited um we'd actually already started working out the logo <laughs> And all the projects and how we we're going to manage it and all that sort of stuff. Um, so acutely naive about potentially how many boats you're going to put an offer in um, to get the one that you wanted. So what happened was we did our written offer. We took it into the broker because it was being um, sold through a broker. We handed it over. Uh, he said we were a day late. If we had have got it the afternoon prior, we would have been the first offer in. I'm not sure why he said that. I think that just made us feel worse. But it's just the guy was a knob. He wanted us to. <clears throat> he could have just rung us and said, "Don't bother coming in. I've got an offer." You know, like it's just a flogger. We made all this effort to go in there, top up an offer. Anyway. And also, like, we were the only ones that have actually looked at the boat. So this was an offer sight unseen, and we. Would have expected that they'd call and say, hey, someone else is making inquiries. If you guys want an offer, we know you've been out and gone over the boat twice. Maybe get it in sooner rather than later. Yeah, you I mean, know, we like just took the thing apart, yeah. didn't we? We, we? The other guys were making an offer while we were putting, taking it apart and looking yeah. in every nook and cranny. <laughs> yeah, so we just thought some better communication <laughs> would have been good. Anyway, then they said they've got to fly down to look at it. So it was another week um, to know whether it was going to actually formally go under contract or not um anyway we didn't it, get it. it's got under contract we didn't get it but anyway i'd already joined the, the oceanus 430 owners page on facebook <laughs> to do my research and so i just put a, um a message in there saying you know we just missed out on this boat and we're feeling really disappointed um if anyone hears of one reach out directly to us and um we knew, like, by looking at it, we looked at a lot of boats, that this one had the things that we wanted, like the bed size, the height for me, because I'm particularly tall. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just the functionability was what we are after. Um, functionability, is that a word? No, we wanted, we wanted, there's a whole bunch of stuff that we wanted, but we, the main thing is we wanted to be safe and it uh, does that for us. And we also wanted uh, to be able to sleep well, and it's got a decent cabin for that for us, owner's cabin, and and then all the other stuff, which is equally as important, but we just don't really understand that yet. It's, <laughs> we want that too. <laughs> so uh, dig the light boxes, and it's in the right price frame, price frame as well, because yeah. um, I mean, while we could go spend, you know, eight on a grand on a boat, we just, and we, and we could, we just um, don't, really feel like as novice sailors that if we ran it into a reef 
you know, we would lose a lot of money. Whereas, uh, you know, 150, 100, 200 grand on a boat is recoverable. Yeah. yeah. And it potentially could mean that we could get out there sooner rather than later. So the money that we save um, could potentially be fed into yeah. our sailing, you know, earlier yeah. sailing time than later. And that's, that's important. Cruising time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So that, that extra money we can just, we could, um, instead of, Leaving at retirement age, we could probably go five years earlier, yeah. which would be cool. Which would be awesome. Yeah. Um, one more thing before we go. We've been hardcore cleaning out the house. We did an episode. We showed you. This is like you did one more thing like 10 things ago. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we showed that um, when we first started clearing things out and, you know, we were blowing the horn for every sale. We would have been oh, blowing that horn we constantly. That. We've sold so much stuff. We've been putting money in a pickle jar. Anyway. Mm. The last two weekends, we decided to get rid of like pieces of furniture. So a whole chest of drawers went out of our room because we got rid of a whole lot of clothes. So one chest of drawers, guys. Yeah. That's it. And we've got a whole <laughs> big cube unit that we got oh, managed to empty you know. yesterday that we put on the um, on the marketplace. Um, and so the house is emptying out, but there is so much shit in here still to go. And I know everyone says this is the hardest part of it, um, but we are really chugging along a lot with it and getting rid of a lot of stuff. Our kids don't want any of our stuff. <laughs> stuff. No one wants any of our we stuff. That's why we've it. got it. Um, but anyway, we're getting there. So we're going to make a uh, garage sale in a few weeks and um, hopefully get rid of a lot. Whatever doesn't go, we'll either we'll go to bin or um, charity. So We've got maybe 80 bottles of bourbon and maybe another 80 bottles of wine. We don't even drink wine. But I think that's, okay that. I think that has to go on the boat, though. I mean, we're only getting. Well, we're going to sink the boat with wine that we're not going to drink. Getting rid of our non-essentials, babe. You're talking about the essentials. The bourbon can come. The bourbon can come. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The wine. There's no point for that. I have a glass so of red. Much, so much. What? Oh. When? When did you have a glass well, of red? I haven't been drinking this year, but I'm sure when we get. <laughs> so she doesn't drink anymore, but we got to take the wine. <laughs> and yeah. we're buying a still too, and uh, yes. tune in for that because we'll have a few practice runs. Yeah, because we haven't got enough. Clearly, we don't have enough alcohol to take on the boat, yeah, so we're going to buy still. Just like everybody else, we we watch a lot of other people's videos, and and uh, we've got a favourite one because they're um, they're pretty laid back and and cruisy, and they bought a still in Australia when they were here, American people, and they bought a um, still, and they've been using that to make their own booze. And I've got to tell you, that really makes me it makes me excited because I think making your own alcohol. It's very cool. Gav's excited about mm. getting a still. I'm pretty excited about getting yeah. a boat. I'm going to make my own bourbon. And when you see our boat and you see our name, you can just say, hey, Gav, can I have some of your bourbon? And I'll say, yeah, come on. Come on, let's go drinking. And we'll name the bourbon after the name of the boat because the boat names are good. <laughs> Jesus. Why do you hear this? Anyway. And it's like an hour video on that too because you got to explain it and all the rest of it. Okay, got to go. See you, bye. See you. Yeah. Wow. If you're still here, you made it to the end of episode two. Gab's decided to go with a more formal approach for our clothes today um, because that's just the personality that he has. We're quite different, apart from the obvious height difference. I can see us in the thing and I'm like, I'm really short. Um, the other bit we just wanted to loop back to was the boat that we put the offer in in this episode. It's actually the same sort of boat that we ended up Pacific buying. Pacific Sundowner. Um, Pacific Sundowner, the broker, we just wanted to address for people that are looking at boats because, you know, we learnt this on the go. But yeah. the broker, um, when he said, you know, you were, should have put it in yesterday afternoon, etc. just to be clear, we were the only two people that had gone out to look at this boat and pulled it apart. There was no one else. The offer came in um, by phone alleged or offer. whatever, alleged offer. And what he said to us was the offer is exactly the same amount that you've just offered. And now we're not silly and we oh, realise... We're both in sales-related industries yeah. and we've been around a minute, so... We realised yeah. that this, it was just bullshit. And what he was actually looking for us to do was to push the price up um, because that was the same offer. And he also said to us that he wasn't going to go to the owners and let them know what our, that there was another offer on the boat and that we'd gone and looked at it. He said, no, it's first in, best dressed kind of scenario, which is fine. Um Anyway, he, then he came back. He said he'd get back to us a few days later. They were flying down to look at the boat. Um, 
And he the said people that put the offering. other offer in were flying mm. down. He said he'd get back to us and let us know. He never got back to us. Communication was really bad. And by that point, we had a pretty bad taste in our mouth anyway. We, we just could mm. see that he was. And it so wasn't just, the guy just, that took sorry. us out. Yeah. That, yeah. That, What's your prediction for number of views on this uh, episode? Oh, no. I just got smashed on the last one, didn't I? So so many friends messaging in going, wow, Gav, we're past yeah, the 13. Yeah, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> and they're right. I did. I was wrong. I was really wrong. So, so thanks, prediction. everyone. I appreciate you watching. It's great. Prediction? Well, subscribers, how many have we got now? 38. 38. Oof. So so let's go 80 subscribers. Whoa. Double the amount. Babe, plus, plus that's two. huge. I oh, know. 80 subscribers. I think you've gone well over the other way, but I love that you're so hopeful. <laughs> yeah, well, views. I don't want to get, I don't want to lose again. <laughs> so, well, you were on views before, so we got 100, and, I think we're 130 something views at the moment for episode one. What are you thinking for episode two? I mean, we're pretty funny on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, maybe 200. Wow. That's a lot though, isn't it? That's a lot. But anyway, we'll see how we go. Guys, mm. like and subscribe. Leave us a comment <laughs> and I hope you enjoy our um, video number two. Yeah, see ya. See ya.